Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the May 2016 Smuggler's Bounty box. Now, this is the first Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty Funko box I've ever got. I think it's a cool idea. I just haven't seen, like, uh, a theme that's really, like, appealed to me yet. But Bounty Hunters appeals to me because Boba Fett is my favorite character. So I'm hoping for something good in here. Now, uh, the Facebook ads that they put, like, in my newsfeed kind of all but pretty much said that there is going to be like a action pose or maybe flying Boba Fett in here. Um, more on that in a moment, but I'm hoping if that's wrong, personally I'm hoping for like a Dengar or a Forlom or somehow an IG-88 or a Zuckus. I don't know, but I think Bounty Hunter Pops of all the Bounty Hunters from Empire would be cool. If not in this box, then in some future box. Alright, let's dig in. We start with a patch and pin. The pin has already slid out but uh there you go that's awesome this is also awesome a little boba fett patch so we already got two bounty hunters represented let's see what else is in here all right there's a shirt and two pops two pops bodes well shirt we'll get to that in a second RG-88. RG freaking 88. And Boba Fett in a little flying pose. Holy crap. Real quick side note. So a couple weeks ago I was on Facebook and I was scrolling through my newsfeed and I saw a Smuggler's Bounty ad. And while the image itself is not a spoiler, the text said something to the effect of like, don't miss out on your chance on like a Boba Fett pop flying into action soon or like flying action pop pose. And I just went like, well, great. You just pretty much told me that there's a Boba Fett flying action pose pop in here. Uh, they've done this in the past a couple times where like their ads show like a pop that's coming in there, like subscribe and get this Phasma. You know, half of the fun of a mystery subscription box is not knowing what's in it. Now, I don't expect anyone from like Funko Smuggler's Bounty to be watching little old me in this video, but I just wanna put out there that like if they could make ads that don't ruin the content of the boxes, that'd be nice. All right, here's just another look at the shirt out of the uh, thing. I'm not even properly looking at it. I'll look at it with you guys. But I see, you know, we probably got, yeah, Zuckus and Forlom and IG-88. Got everybody. Bosk. So, yeah, this shirt, pretty cool. I mean, the artwork's not amazing, but I do like that it's got all the bounty hunters on it. Uh, the patch is awesome. But let's be honest, it's about the pop. And... With other subscription boxes like Marvel uh, or DC where you get like a pop and a coffee mug or like a Christmas ornament and not a pop or something like that. Getting two pops, <laughs> getting two pops is awesome. And as a Bounty Hunter fan, great. And a fun side note, I was wondering like if you made like a pop at a Bosque, which they've done, and Boba Fett, I get it, but like Zuckus, Forlom, you could do. I'm like, how would you do IG-88? Could they even do IG-88? Like his dimensions, he's so skinny, would they make him squat? How would they do his eyes? I figured they'd skip over him, and they didn't. So that's awesome. I'll have reviews of these on my channel in separate reviews, like close-up reviews, like I usually do for pops. Um, but yeah, the uh, Bosque pin, dig it. The patch, really dig it. Shirt, awesome. This is a good box. Sometimes the Marvel boxes have been kind of eh. I've seen some of the past Star Wars ones and I'm like, meh. Guys, this is an awesome box. And as the consumer, I am very happy. This is like 33 bucks for the box. Well worth my 33 bucks. So thanks for watching, folks. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff. 